Hi, my name is Jane McMillan and I'm the President of Leukaemia Support Queensland. Leukaemia affects people with families of all ages and walks of life. It cannot be screened for or prevented. Theo was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukaemia at one day old and was recently diagnosed with an additional leukaemia, acute lymphoplastic leukaemia, ALL. Unfortunately, due to the new diagnosis, Theo's stem cell transplant has been delayed. Mackenzie was diagnosed in April 2013 with ALL. She and her mother spent many months at the Royal Children's Hospital for treatment. But before she could reach remission, Mackenzie became ill in December 2013 and her mother was informed Mackenzie had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, NHL, which she had to be treated for also. Unfortunately, Mackenzie lost her fight with leukaemia on the 1st of April 2014 at six years of age. Connie's journey with Hodgkin's lymphoma began at the end of 2012, after rounds of chemotherapy, radiation, and finally a liver transplant seven years later, her journey is continuing with the occasional hospital visit, clinic appointments, blood tests, medications, and a couple of ongoing issues. Leukemia Support Queensland is a not-for-profit organisation dedicated to the cure and care of patients and families living with leukemias, lymphomas, myelomas, and related blood cancers. This care includes the provision of home away from home accommodation near major treatment centres, information and emotional support, education and support programs, transportation to and from hospital, all free of charge. North Harbour is dedicated to helping LSQ fight the hard battle and has generously hosted a major awareness and fundraising event for us, which our volunteers and patients are very grateful for.